I used to love watching favorites videos and more recently I've gotten way more into products and self-care and I found some really really great things that I just absolutely love. So I thought it would be fun to just go through my favorite products and give you guys some recommendations. These products are of course very functional and helpful but also all these things just help me feel a little bit extra confident. Also quick disclaimer none of this is sponsored. I really wish that that was was not the case because if these brands did want to work with me I would be so excited but um, obviously these are all just things that I have bought myself and really liked so first I wanted to talk about body care and scent I feel like one of the things that I've just always loved is you know taking care of my skin I like having really soft skin getting my skin really soft and also I feel like curating a scent is just something that's kind of really fun it's like an accessory and I think it's just really feminine and again it gives me a confidence boost so the first thing i want to talk about is dry brushing this is absolutely amazing for exfoliating your skin i used to get kind of weird but i used to get like just little bumps kind of on my legs this has completely gotten rid of like any uneven skin texture you start at your feet and you work up in like sweeping motions up towards your heart and it just improves your circulation but it also again really great at exfoliating and using this over the past like year year and a half or so has made my skin so unbelievably soft and also another thing that i personally like to do is shave obviously you don't have to shave but for me i get really like uncomfortable when i can feel like my body hair like on fabrics or it makes me itchy and i personally choose to remove it but i have been using this safety razor this is a sustainable razor it's entirely metal and you just replace the actual razors inside but this gives me the closest shave i've ever had i've done the whole using men's razors thing and i feel like this just works better and it's so much better for the environment so it's pretty much a no-brainer now these are some of my tricks for smelling amazing first clay mask in the armpits of course we are wearing deodorant every day and that can just kind of build up and if we're never actually like really deeply cleansing those pores then that is where the bacteria can build up and then you're gonna smell worse so this i do once every couple weeks and i just mix it with some water you could also do apple cider vinegar in it and you just leave it on for like 10 15 minutes and rinse it off it works so well now for my absolute favorite body wash this stuff is a dupe for the sol de janeiro body wash in the 68 scent which by far is my absolute favorite scent i have used that body wash before but honestly this one i tried it it's a dupe that i got at costco it's by nutris it's the brazilian body wash it comes in a two pack i have the yellow one that's like the traditional like sol de janeiro scent dupe i've tried both and they literally are identical like identical it's actually insane and it's also really hydrating which is super nice brilliant obviously if we want to have super soft skin we need to make sure that it's staying hydrated i have an affordable option and a high-end option both of these i use on a regular basis and they're super good the first one this is the affordable option it is from attitude and it's called the super leaves body lotion it's unscented it's super gentle i use this probably the most and you can just get it on Amazon. I feel like this is just the perfect combination of being super hydrating, but it's not greasy and it dries in super quickly into your skin, but not too quickly. It's like the perfect balance. And then for the luxury body lotion, this is the Sol de Janeiro Beige Flor Elasta Cream. Now, I never thought I would spend $65 on a body lotion, but I tried the mini version of this and then I was just like, holy sh**. This is amazing. I never thought really spending more money on a body lotion like would make that much of a difference, but this feels thick and luxurious. It's... <laughs> 
It's amazing and it smells so good and the scent lasts too. And of course, for fragrance, of course, I absolutely have to mention this one. It is the Sol de Janeiro 68. The scent is Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit and this just smells so, so good. It's like girly, but it's not sickly sweet. Last summer, I got oh the God. original Sol de Janeiro, the 62, and I thought I was never gonna smell something better than that in my life. And then I smelled this one and I just, I'm obsessed. It's so good. I also really like combining that fragrance with Glossier U. It's a very clean scent. It almost smells like you're just like freshly out of a bubble bath and you just like are all clean. But I find that these fragrances like just kind of blend very well. But this one, it is called Glossier U because it smells a little bit different on everyone. And another one of my all time favorite perfumes is of course, Eilish by Billie Eilish. This smells like a woodsy vanilla. Oh, it's so, so good. This is another one of my absolute favorites. Okay, also kind of random, but I wanted to talk about some oral hygiene products that I love. First, this TheraBreath Anti-Cavity Oral Rinse in the flavor Sparkle Mint. I'll be honest, I originally bought this because it comes in a pink bottle. Obviously, so many people have been raving about this brand and I tried it and it is so good. I am definitely a garlic girl. I consume so much garlic. My all time favorite food is literally garlic stuffed olives. And um, that comes with some bad breath, I'm gonna be honest. But ever since I started using this, like it literally cuts the garlic breath like nothing else. So I feel like if I'm gonna be a spokesperson for a mouthwash, it's gonna be this one. <laughs> and also I have been using a tongue scraper for the last like two years and this is revolutionary. If you haven't tried one of these, prepare to have your life changed and prepare to also literally never stop using it. But obviously so much gunk and bacteria builds up on your tongue and even if you're brushing your tongue, which obviously I think most people do, it still doesn't like really cleanse your tongue. Like if your tongue is white, which you can see mine isn't because I use this twice a day, every day. Um, it just basically is like harboring bacteria and it's not good for your gut health, it's not good for your oral health, so this is amazing. Now moving on to hair. Everyone has different hair types and I recommend using whatever products are specifically intended for your hair type. I have fine hair but really thick hair, which doesn't make sense, but basically the individual strands of hair are very thin, but I have so much of it. <laughs> but also my hair has gone through an immense amount of bleaching, so much bleaching over the last couple years because I was very blonde. At one point I was like literally platinum. And as you can see, I'm now back to my natural color and I've really just been prioritizing bond repair, hydration, just getting my hair healthy again. And I have been absolutely loving the Amika The Cure shampoo and conditioner. Over the last couple months that I've been using this, it has noticeably made my hair healthier. And the scent is really nice as well. It basically smells like all of the Amika products. So if you know what that smells like, I don't really know how to explain it actually. It smells very fresh. It's a very fresh, clean scent. And then because I have fine hair, I tend to also have very flat hair. The one thing that has actually given my hair some volume, this is the Amika Plus Size Perfect Body Mousse. This stuff is so good. Basically after you get out of the shower and your hair is like just damp, like you kind of towel dried it and now you're kind of just gonna let it air dry, you brush it and add in this and just kind of like run it through your hair. It's like a really thick foam and then you just let it dry or you blow dry your hair and it actually helps your hair have so much more volume. It's just amazing. Another Amika product, this is the Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. I add this in as I'm styling my hair and it just helps it hold because my hair never used to hold styles or curls at all. I also really like combining that with my Beatless Curler. This is the one from Kitsch. It comes with some little scrunchies. I don't know where the other one is, but I've been doing the unicorn curl method, which is basically where you put it over your head like this and then you wrap your hair around it in alternating directions, kind of in the way that you would do a French braid. And then you wake up in the morning and you have beautiful heatless curls. 
as you can see. And if I am using this, I will spray a little bit of texture spray after I put it in and then it just helps it hold better. And I will also put this satin cap over my hair. I do this every night, whether I have a heatless curl in or not, I will just literally shove my hair in and this just helps prevent breakage. It helps keep your hair nice and shiny and healthy. I've noticed such a big difference. Now moving on to skincare and SPF. So I have definitely been on a long, long skin journey. And now that I've for the most part gotten my acne under control, which was largely hormonal based, now I'm really focusing on getting rid of acne scars. And one of the things that I've really loved is the Ordinary Retinol 0.5% in Squalene. This I find is a much more gentle retinol. I've used the 1% before, but it was just a little bit too strong for me. This is definitely better. And I also I like applying this La Roche-Posay Kikaplast Balm B5. Stuff is so good. It's very multi-purpose. If I'm using a retinol at night, I will apply this all over my face and I've never had any problems with breakouts from it. It just basically provides the perfect barrier support for my skin and it is just absolutely amazing. I've gone through two whole bottles of this. And also, I really like the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. I know so many people have raved about this, but I have really been loving it. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is really honestly my favorite skincare product of all time. But aside from smelling absolutely incredible, I feel like this is the perfect gentle exfoliant. I don't use any other exfoliant on my skin other than this, and it works wonderfully. And then for the absolute best sunscreen of all time, this is the La Roche-Posay Ultra Fluid. This is the Anthelios Ultra Fluid. I have the face one and the body one and they're both absolutely incredible. They're very similar in formulation, but the joy that I experienced when I found this product was just next level. I have always struggled with sunscreens on my face. I found that some broke me out and a lot of them just had really bad consistencies where it would start pilling and like, you know, I would try to wear makeup and then it would just ball up and peel and just look absolutely horrific. But this product literally solves all of my problems. And then kind of a transition from skincare to makeup. This is kind of like a skincare makeup hybrid. So I have two different formulations of this product. I have the camo drops and then I have the cream. So this has SPF 35, this has SPF 30. And I really like both of these products for different reasons. They're actually the same product. It's just different consistencies. This is a heavier cream. This is like a serum dropper form. This one is more expensive, but it does blend into your skin a lot easier. This one you use a smaller amount and it is a little bit heavier. This is almost like a concealer for me and especially in the summer it's really great. You just take a tiny little amount and rub it between your fingers until it warms up and then as it warms up it changes to your skin tone. And I don't know if this would work on darker skin. I haven't necessarily seen a lot of people with darker skin try this but for me my pale skin it works great. <laughs> Now moving on to makeup. Starting off with this Refai primer. This is the Glow and Sculpt primer. It is a roll-on tube and you just go like that and then rub it in. And this is a little bit of like a tackier primer, but it makes your skin look so hydrated and glowy. And it also really helps your makeup not move around or separate throughout the day. Another product that is absolutely amazing and a staple in my routine, this is the Glossier Halo Scope. This is the perfect product if you don't like a sparkly, glittery highlight. It is very much like a glow from within type of product. It has a hydration core in the middle and then it has the glow ring around the outside. And this, you literally just swipe it on wherever you want a little bit of extra glow and then you just dab it in with your fingers. I feel like Glossier is just the perfect brand for your no makeup makeup looks. And for blush, I have two that I have absolutely been loving. I wear them together actually. I will first use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Rosé Usle, which I hate, but anyway. <laughs> really, really beautiful color. 
This, I believe, is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury blush. This is perfect for no makeup makeup looks. It is really great at just melting into your skin. It looks super natural, but I like to put that under my base products and then after to bring a little bit more blush back to my skin, I use the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Cheer. This is the most beautiful, luminous, glowy blush. And I feel like it just is such a pretty shade. I love it on my skin tone. I feel like this would look good on anyone. Another Rare Beauty product. This is my favorite bronzer of all time. I've used a couple different cream bronzer sticks like this, but this one is just the most creamy. It lasts the best. But this is the Rare Beauty bronzing stick in the shade Power Boost. Such a great product. I highly recommend trying it out. And for mascara, I absolutely love tubing mascaras. Specifically, this is the Cali Ray tubing mascara called Come Hell or High Water. It is a clean mascara. It does all the things that you want a mascara to do. It lengthens, it darkens, it thickens your lashes. It makes them look really big and fluttery but also it is an absolute dream to remove, but it doesn't come off or like smudge during the day. It's the perfect formula, I swear. But at the end of the day, when I'm removing my makeup, I just get a little bit of water first and just kind of like pat it on my eyes and then it literally just rolls off. I don't know how it works, but it's brilliant. And I feel like this does not like pull out my eyelashes like so many other mascaras. And for lips, my favorite product right now is the e.l.f. Lip Oil. This is the shade Pink Quartz. This I know has been compared to the Dior Lip Oil, which I haven't tried, but truly that price point is just absurd to me for a lip product. But I just absolutely love the formula of this. It's not too sticky and it just feels really hydrating. And it also provides the perfect amount of color. I don't have anything else on my lips right now and I feel like it just looks really natural and pretty. So as you guys know, my exfoliation routine that I talked about earlier, I use the dry brushing. I also use an exfoliating mitt in the shower. I shave, I moisturize, and that is the perfect base for applying your fake tan. That is definitely the most important step. But as far as the actual fake tan goes, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Bondi Sands line. I feel like it just makes perfect sense that an Australian brand would create such an amazing self-tanner. But this is the light medium shade and this creates the perfect fake tan. I am naturally extremely pale <laughs> and I feel like this gives me the best confidence boost. It is such a pretty shade. It's not too orange. It's like the perfect sun-kissed look. I also apply it with the Bondi Sands Tanning Mitt and literally streak-free, beautiful, glowy tan. I'm obsessed. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss more content from me. Here's my Instagram as well if you would like to see more content from me. And until next time, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!